Welcome to the Midway Griffield with Lupus in Color, where we strive to educate, inspire, encourage, and empower lupus warriors worldwide. Today's Midweek Refuel is going to be about releasing your feelings and allowing yourself to feel the things that you're feeling as you battle lupus. It's so important for us to be able to release those feelings, number one, but also to feel them. Um, what I've found recently, you all remember I lost my sister and sometimes you try to stuff certain feelings down your throat so that it doesn't come out, it doesn't spill over, it, it, it doesn't, you know, interrupt your life. And what I've found is that I have got to release feelings. I've got to release pain. I've got to release anger. And that's not to say that anybody needs to go on out there and beat somebody up or, you know, releasing those feelings in a negative way or a com or, or a way that would bring on a combative situation. It is to say that you have to feel the feelings that you're feeling. You are going to be angry because you have lupus. You are going to be sad because you have lupus. You're going to be angry because you can't do the things that you can't do, that you used to do. You're going to be sad because your life has totally changed. You're going to be anxious because I've got to adapt and change everything that I've been doing in my life because of lupus. And those feelings can't be glossed over. You have to vocalize that you're feeling that way and you have to sit with that feeling for a little bit in order for you to get motivated and in order for you to really begin some type of healing it's like you know if you shake up a bottle if you have a bottle of soda and the, the lid is on tight you don't want any of the soda to come out and you shake up the bottle you shake up the bottle and you're like I really don't want this to come out but I'm thirsty and I really want to drink it. And when you open the bottle, it spills all over. And it's like this crazy spill. It might spill up into your, your car, on top of your car, or you know, it might spill all over you. But it was so it was so it was so much pressure. It was so much holding in that bottle as you were shaking it that when it was open, it pretty much exploded. And that's pretty much how our body is, you know we can put so much pressure on ourselves trying not to show how angry how sad how anxious how how scared we are for having lupus and the things that lupus can do to us that it can build up in us and create such a stress and such a a, a toxic environment in our body it can make us sicker it can make us uh, have more flares. It can really, really hurt us more than it would help us. So I just want to encourage everyone to release those feelings. Let people know that you're not feeling well. Let people know that you're sad. Release that. Let yourself know, look, I'm feeling this sort of way right now. And it's not good. I don't like it but I've got to go through it in order for me to get to a place where I can adapt and change from it. So it's, you know, I just want you all to just really think about really dealing with what's going on with you. Um, deal with what's going on with the symptoms. Take some accountability for yourself as far as this is the way I'm feeling it's okay for me to feel sad. It's okay for me to feel angry. It's okay that I'm pissed the hell off because of what lupus is doing in my body. It's okay for me to feel this way. And I'm going to release that. I'm going to let people know. But then I'm going to sit with it and I'm going to say, okay, so what do I have to do to adapt to what's going on in my body and change? So we always want to bring it back to something that can help us we want our problems to be not even solved really but we want our problems to become our power we want our tests to be our testimonies 
And we don't want to fall down the rabbit hole of being depressed and being upset all of the time because of what lupus can do in our bodies. So I just want you to start thinking about how you can release those feelings and how can you uh, begin to really heal from the fear and heal from the anger and heal from the sadness of just having lupus. The reality is lupus is difficult and lupus can really wreak havoc on your mind, your body, and your spirit. And if you're not in a position where you're releasing those, it's just building up, building up to explode just like the soda that is shaken and just explodes after you open it. So your, your midweek refuel is release the feelings that you have from having lupus. If you're mad, let somebody know. If you're sad, let somebody know. Talk it out. Why are you sad? Yeah, because, you know, I used to do this and I used to do that and now I can't do anything. And sometimes you have to find that lupus warrior that will just sit there with you and be like, I, I understand. Sometimes you have to find that person, that friend that will sit with you and just be quiet. Because sometimes that silence is golden and it really gives a support that nobody would ever even understand. So release those feelings. Release those feelings and get some relief from dealing with all of the stress of bottling that all in and holding it in because you don't want people to think that you're not strong or you don't want people to see you that way or you don't want to be judged. It is what it is. Lupus is a difficult disease. Release those feelings so you can get some healing. That is your lupus in color midweek refuel. Tonight, we will be speaking with Dr. Ashira Blazer and one of her mentees tonight about medical gaslighting and disparities in lupus care. Please, please join us on Instagram Live, and I will try and stream to Facebook as well. Join us so that we can have this important discussion about disparities in care and medical gaslighting. We've all been through it in some shape, form, or fashion. Grab a friend, meet us on over in, in Instagram world, and let's take a listen to what Dr. Ashira Blazer has to say. Thank you always for tuning in. I hope that you have been um, enjoying all of the information provided for Lupus Awareness Month, and I hope that you've been sharing it with your family and friends, and especially those people that you feel misunderstand lupus. Maybe they can get a greater understanding of what you're going through. So I look forward to seeing you guys tonight at 7 p.m. on Instagram, and I hope that you all have a great day. All right now.